Okay, I thought I'd make a quick little tutorial because I just figured this out. It's been, uh, it was uh, giving me a hard time for days. This is how to apply an auto landscape material to your voxel world. Um, I I think this will work with with, with uh, a variety of different landscape auto materials. I'm using this one. It's uh, am I using this one? Yes, I'm using this one. Um, and it's yeah working really really nicely. So as you can see, we've got uh, a beach layer. We've got uh, this is fairly rough at the moment. I haven't tweaked the settings yet, but yeah, like I say, in case I forget later how to do this, or in case anybody else has this problem, this is how you apply an auto landscape material to your voxel world. Okay, so you got your voxel world over here, and what you will want to do is scroll down and find the uh, voxel material. Now you will want to cho choose rather the uh, multi-index option and then what you'll want to do is create a new voxel landscape material collection so I've already got one uh, created where is mine auto landscape no somewhere around here voxel landscape material so how you do this is you'll right click <coughs> voxel uh, voxel uh, landscape material collection I'll just create a new one here new voxel landscape skate material collection and then you're going to want to open that and you will want to browse to your uh, auto landscape material <clears throat> so in my case that is uh, this one here the voxel world auto world landscape which like i say you can get that one uh, from here the guy is actually really nice who developed it, it super helpful um, but I'm, I'm sure this I'm, well I'm not sure but I, I think this will probably work with a variety of auto landscape materials <clears throat> so you've got your auto landscape material instance I don't know if it needs to be an instance or not I don't think so but I've got mine as a material instance I'm going to apply it to my uh, my new voxel landscape material collection just like this and then the the most important thing the part that really screwed me up and kept me <laughs> kept me from figuring this out for a long time. Initially, if you do this, let me just show you what might happen if you do this incorrectly. So I've got my uh, new material. I'm just going to punch that in and you'll, well, you won't see too much. It might be black. It might be a single monochromatic or, or a single terrain um, uh, uh, texture. Uh, but if you see that, what you need to do, and this is the part that got me, is you need to uh, change your zero layer to something higher than you've already got. So here there's 14 layers. So I'm just going to temporarily set this to be my 14th layer. And that way I can now set this one to be my zero layer. This is my auto material. As you can see right here, it says auto material. A lot of these uh, auto material landscapes are kind of built in with their variety of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my auto material to be uh, level zero to leave, be to be uh, index zero, and then when I do that, the uh, auto material well it automatically applies, and that's uh, all there is uh, is to it. That should hopefully work for you. All right, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.